have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're trying your best to improve at the game and even though you're taking it very serious, you don't seem to move forward or notice any improvements? If this is the case, then you probably haven't heard about the concept of the learning zone and the performance zone. The way most players try to improve at the game is by simply playing more games. Maybe they watch one or two VODs and look for mistakes, but at some point doing only this won't lead to further improvement. Throughout his career, a high skilled player is constantly alternating between his learning zone and his performance zone. When being in the learning zone, his goal is to improve, to focus on what he hasn't mastered yet. For that, he'll engage in activities designed to achieve that, and not only expect to make mistakes but actually look forward to them and welcome them. When being in the performance zone, his goal is to play his best, to execute, to climb. For that, he tries to minimize and avoid mistakes and focus on what he has already mastered to get the job done. Both of these zones are very important. The performance zone allows us to get things done, while the learning zone allows us to grow and improve our future performance. The reason why most players get stuck and plateau is because they tend to spend all their time in the performance zone, which hinders their growth and ironically their future performance. Without spending time in the learning zone, a player can't really expect to see much improvement. So what does the learning zone look like? Take for example Faker or Khan. To become great, they didn't spend all their time just playing solo queue. They structured their day so that they can spend time in the performance zone, but also set aside time in the learning zone to practice, analyze their play and experiment with new things. They all did what Anders Ericsson called deliberate practice which is a totally different way of approaching practice. Regular practice tends to be focused around repetition and general improvement, while deliberate practice focuses on analysis and specific improvement. I've already made a detailed video on deliberate practice, which you can check here, but the main points of deliberate practice are the following. Break down a skill into sub-skills. Design activities to practice those sub-skills individually. High focus and to push outside your comfort zone. Welcome mistakes and experimenting. Reflect and use feedback. And keep track of your progress. It's this type of practice that leads to continuous improvement, not just time spent on task. In fact, research shows that after the first years of working in any profession, Performance usually plateaus and, in some cases, even drops. This is because people stopped spending time in their learning zone. They realized that they've became good enough to perform their job, so they just focused on performing it. The same happens in League. Imagine your first year playing League. Remember how everything used to be very new and challenging? You would improve almost every day. You would learn new champions every day, abilities, lane basics, items, basically everything was new, so you were in a constant spike of improvement. But after you reach the good enough zone, the zone where you can finally play the game without being surprised at what's happening on the screen, also known as the comfort zone, now you pretty much spend all your time performing and performing. Yes, you're taking it serious, you want to climb and make progress, but without using the learning zone, without welcoming mistakes and using feedback, you're just gonna move in a flat line and plateau. Top players don't just look at what mistakes they did during a game, they write them down and then develop a training program to fix those mistakes. Just spotting your mistakes is not good enough, you need to engage in deliberate practice. This is not to say that the performance zone has no value, it really does. When we want to climb, we don't just start experimenting new champions or new builds during a ranked game. We focus on what we already know and have mastered, and use that to try to perform to our best and gain LP. In fact, without the performance zone, we wouldn't know what we should practice on the learning zone. We have to use our performance zone to produce data. It provides us with feedback that we can then use to go back to the learning zone and focus. 
The key thing is to be constantly alternating between both zones. You might ask, Blink, how do we start using the learning zone? First, you have to create it. You have to create an environment that your brain can easily identify as a learning zone, somewhere where you can experiment and try new things. My advice is to either create a second account and use that as an experimental account, or if you don't have time for that, use the flex queue or normal games. However, in my coaching experience, I've noticed that players tend to differentiate better between practice and climbing once they make a new account for each. Second, you have to adopt a growth mindset. Your mentality when entering your learning zone has to be totally different. Like we said before, we have to welcome mistakes. You have to be willing to try new things that you are uncomfortable with, combos that you usually fail, champions that you can't play, and do not ban champions, try to experiment playing against counter matchups as well. Try to expose your weaknesses. Third, you must engage in deliberate practice. Don't just randomly start trying out new things. Everything has to have a purpose. You need to know what you are practicing and why you are practicing it. Like I said, try to break down each skill into separate sub-skills and practice each one independently. For example, if your team fighting sucks, Try to break it down into smaller sub-skills like peeling, engaging, target prioritization, cooldown management, etc. And practice each one independently. Don't just say, oh I want to practice team fighting, then jump to game with no plan and expect to improve. I highly recommend you to watch my deliberate practice video. Everything is explained in detail there. If you want to constantly improve at the game, you can apply this and other strategies that I mention on my channel. You can check them out here and subscribe for more content. If there's something that you want me to cover for future videos, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.